All right, guys. Well, what we have here is a trail ready course that we created uh, to show off the five elements it takes for our Jeep vehicles to be trail rated. Uh, so what we do here is just simulate these disciplines and kind of show off the vehicle's capabilities and kind of show you how consumers can do this. Uh, so this course is designed for any consumer to be able to do. These aren't special vehicles. They are straight from the factory, so there's nothing altered about them. Uh, they're just cheap vehicles that are highly capable. Uh, this first one right here is articulation. Uh, one of the things about this one is you'll notice right now you kind of feel that back wheel off the ground. Yeah. This is actually the Jeep Rubicon, so it actually has a sway bar disconnect feature on it. So what that's going to do is disconnect my front sway bar so that I'm going to gain about 50% articulation. So right now, this is a 30 degree incline. It's, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Kind of shows up the stability of the vehicle. Kind of show you that they're not really prone to roll over as they used to. This have a little mitigation system, so it's going to help it balance itself out and skid if you need to uh, keep it from rolling over. But the sway bar disconnect, before you remember how we kind of bounce, with that 50% more articulation, you know right now, my tires are all on the ground. Articulation is about keeping your traction, so that's one of the new benefits that they have on the uh, new Rubicon, which is a really nice feature. This next one is maneuverability. Obviously, going off road is all about going over uneven terrain. So what we do here is we stagger logs anywhere from two to 16 inches, and notice how well the suspension transitions over these logs. Yeah. A lot of people think it's going to be bumpy and shake up, which I mean it is doing, but it's not as bad. It's as you not very bad at all. Exactly. And the third part of this uh, trail rating course is the uh, traction control. Nowadays you see all those fancy commercials on TVs about trees falling out of nowhere and cars yeah. swerving and stuff. You don't really get to experience what that feels like. So what we do is we simulate that by putting three wheels on rollers and only one wheel has traction. So right now the wheel that's behind you to your right is the only one that has traction. So just like that, it transfers that power to that one wheel and pushes us along. Now we do to show you that it doesn't matter which wheel it is by putting all the traction to the front wheel now and the other three have the rollers. So just like that, the vehicle just pulls itself right over there. So it's a lot better to feel it and kind of you know gain that faith in the vehicle than just, just kind of see it on TV and things like that. And that's kind of the nice thing about this course is kind of showing you guys what it feels like and that you guys as consumers can do these in your vehicle as well. It's not saying that you have to go and do it, but it's always nice to kind of know what you can get into if you wanted to. Uh, that's kind of why Jeep do slow can have fun out there because you might as well enjoy it if you have. Now this fourth one right here is the ground clearance. Like I said, kind of similar to, uh, to the uh, maneuverability. It's all about going over obstacles. Uh, for instance, these are eight inch logs here. We don't really want to get out. We want the capability to just drive over. So notice how easy it is. I just push the gas just a tad bit. You feel the vehicle just pull itself right over these things. Yeah. No clanking or banging. Uh, one thing that's nice about the ground clearance is that these actually have skid plates. It's part of the trail rating package is that it has protection on the bottom so that if we worry it to hit the bottom, it would not damage the vehicle. There's a plate to protect the transmission and the gas tank and things like that. Now, this is where it gets fun here. This is a 35 degree incline here, guys. Kind of crawl up here and just kind of watch the world just kind of disappear. Now, the neat thing is, like I said, it's just how effortless these vehicles do it. I mean, it's a 35 degree incline. It's kind of unnatural. It's kind of like a roller coaster, but it's neat kind of gaining that courage in your vehicle knowing that it's capable of doing things. Yeah. So, right now, we're about 18 feet high. We're going to go down 35 degrees. Now, one of the wonderful things about this vehicle is it does have a 4 to 1 transfer case, meaning that it's going to help slow us down. I'm not going to have to use the brake or anything like that. Basically, I'm coming down here, let off the brake, and the vehicle just naturally slow itself slow down. Right now. now, that's a benefit because obviously when you're off-roading, if that was mud or things like that, you hit the brake, you're going to start going sideways, and obviously we don't want to do that on that kind of an incline. Now, the fifth one is water boarding. Obviously, out there, there's natural creeks, especially around here at the beach and stuff. Sometimes you guys will drive through the water. Um, we do this to show that it doesn't affect the mechanics of the vehicle. So you notice as I go through this, one of the benefits is, too, with the tires being wet and the metal brakes, once again, it shows off traction. I mean, it doesn't matter what you have, you can't use it. So notice, once again, it's the same 35 degrees, but now the tires are wet. And the vehicle just pulls itself right up there. Amazing how easy it feels, huh? All right. Now we gotta end it with one more drop off here, another 35 degrees. <laughs> That's what it's like to off road in South Beach, huh? <laughs> so, do you guys have any questions about your trail rated experience? How long does it take you to set this up? Uh, not too long. Actually, we kind of do it from city to city, but the neat thing is it's a couple days to kind of give you a lifetime experience. So, it's, it's a lot of fun. We enjoy it quite a bit. Cool, very cool, awesome. Guys, we definitely appreciate you taking the time to come ride with us here at Camp Jeep. Hopefully we'll see you again, huh? Definitely. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very welcome, but it's a pleasure meeting with you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you guys. Uh -huh.
out there. There you go. Now it's your turn.